for me, being a student and an athlete were interchangeable. They, they, they were joined at the hip. You could never do one without the other. It's all about excellence. It's all about working hard, achievement, working in teams, um, pushing toward a goal. And so to me, uh, I can't imagine one without the other, and I'm blessed to have had such a great academic experience at the United States Air Force Academy and a great athletic experience to make a, a, a hopefully a, a pretty decent leader going forward. The professional achievement I'm, I'm, I'm most proud of actually is uh, being a decent dad. Raising uh, Cohen and Joshua, Cohen is a, was a football player at Swanee, just finished up D3 football career. Joshua began his career at Middlebury College running track. Having those kids grow up to be fine young men, respectful young men, is the biggest professional achievement of my lifetime. My top academic achievement at the Air Force Academy would have to be winning the William V. Campbell Award of the National Football Foundation for being uh, allegedly the uh, top senior scholar athlete in college football. The top athletic achievement would probably be the team achievement of winning the Liberty Bowl. Uh, but uh, my junior year, I did have a heck of a game against Northwestern. I think I ran for about a buck 25 and uh, touched down and uh, scored an extra point, which was pretty cool. But uh, the best achievements are the team achievements. The reason that I've had some success in life is because I've been able to work with teams and build excellent teams. And I learned that uh, as a Air Force Academy Falcon football player. Um, you don't get anything done without the assistance of others. You know, only as strong as your weakest link. And we made our weak links very, very strong by supporting each other. So lifelong lessons that served me um, uh, then and serve me now. Ten years ago, my wife and I started this program called the Impact and Lies Foundation, which provides opportunities to travel um, and scholarships for South African students of color from previously disadvantaged backgrounds. So we brought about 60 uh, college students over to visit the United States to see our civil society in action. And that's it's a 501c3 and we've been doing it for years and we're very proud of the students that come out of the program who on their own now are giving back to South Africa and to the world. I would not be the person that I am today but for college athletics. The toughness and the resilience, resiliency I guess that you learn from being a student athlete makes you an adult. And um, when you get into these tough jobs, you, you spend a lot of time kind of getting kicked in the teeth. And, and, you know, I even had a faculty member come to me and it was sort of a tough time with some tough issues happening on campus. And she said, uh, you know, you, you, it's tough for you and, and I know that you're not getting all the things you want to get, but you're always smiling. You always seem to come back fully charged to, to make a difference. I said, yeah, I was a United States Air Force Academy football player. That's what they taught us to do. Winning this award is uh, very special to me because it represents not me, but all those shoulders I've been standing on for all those years. Uh, going back to family, to friends, to teachers, counselors, coaches, um, chaplains, pastors, um, professors, bosses, board of trustees that selected me at Hampton Sydney College, board of trustees that selected me to serve at Robert Morris University. It really is their award, not mine, and that's what makes it so special.